So, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, currently here at Honda Fest here at Glorieta Activity Center in Makati. So, surprisingly, I had no idea there was an actual event ongoing at the moment because, yeah, I got invited for lunch. But thank you again to Honda Cars Philippines for making this happen. And to what I'm currently diving, finally, is the CRV RS HEV. I already did my full walk around tour at the last Honda Fest since I driven to the all-wheel dive tours. And first impressions almost immediately. Literally just left the test drive parking lot. We are full EV mode. So this is uh, the first time that I've encountered a CRV that is what a legit full hybrid. So yet again, if you're new to the channel, so powering this thing is a two-liter four-cylinder engine that is mated to a hybrid system. So total output is 184 horsepower and a whopping 335 newton meters of torque. So yeah, I cannot wait to floor this thing if it's possible because we're just driving here around in Makati and it's raining. But not to my surprise though. And then first impressions. Okay, we were just in eco mode. And it's so weird. Yet again, it's EV mode. So already here in bumpy parts of the road. Actually, it's actually it's really, really comfortable. And like what I said to in the VX all-wheel drive review, the NVH of this, even for this uh, hybrid, they're all good. I mean, this is already a rough part of road here in Makati. And here, ma we're going over manholes, so on. Yes, you can see the suspension of this um, hybrid is just slightly firmer than the all-wheel dive to rope however it's still very very much comfortable and what I like to yet again going back with the NVH I don't hear much of tire noise I don't hear the engine yet since we're just driving around uh, 30 kilometers per hour it's so yet again refreshing driving this on EV mode this one is capable of charging itself but it's good to know that this can go EV at will for the instrument cluster now this time uh, you don't have a tachometer anymore here on the left side it's just a full dedicated uh, power meter only so right now it's charging since we're at a stand so it's kind of traffic in here and few more highlights here with this uh, HEB you get both sound system uh, all around this vehicle and to uh, one of the biggest nitpicks of not just me and every little every buyer of the new CRV is that this is only a five seater sadly yeah I understand now why everyone's going for the all-wheel drive and the base front wheel drive version actually what I'm very curious on how the front wheel drive version will fare and the engine just turned into life right now so it's charging the batteries now so let's try I really love when you change driving modes. It's very similar like to Gran Turismo, the Gran Turismo games. And then brake pedal. Okay, feels a bit harder than usual now since yet again to support the hybrid system. And then further. Mm, right, right. So since now you have the assist of the electric motors, not on the engine, not on the engine itself. All right, my case will still stand with the VX all-wheel drive turbo. That I got to be honest, it's a little bit too heavy on its feet. This one now, with much much more torque at 335 newton meters, this is much better to drive, hands down. The handling seems much more or less the same too, but yet again the torque pulls you much better. I mean, that was just sport and just flight again. <laughs> you get pushed back in your seat. So let's calm down a bit. Let's put you back to normal. As you can hear the diving mode. And then here more bumps. 40 kilometers per hour. This is so good. Yeah, it switched back to EV at will. And I like when this switches to uh, to the gasoline engine and then back to the electric motors. Vice versa too. It's very smooth and seamless. You don't feel it that much. Only at a stance like I showed you earlier. But here on like just driving, you don't feel it that much. Not to my surprise. So I think Honda made a, did a very good job with this uh, CRV. So here, let's work. Right, it though comes at a cost, so this one already costs around like 2.8 million pesos. Just put exact price here on screen. Yeah, it is quite a steep price, but wow, wow, well, off the line, of course. This is much better, and driving is pretty much insane. So, handling wise, going back, Honda, this is where Honda excels all the time with their handling. No, even though this is a much, much heavier car now than the all-wheel drive you don't feel the weight so even the handling feels pretty good too so I, I as well notice now if you heard, I hope you can hear it on the audio 
So when I floor this thing, you can hear a bit of pumped-in audio. So not gonna lie, the pumped-in audio sounds like a Civic Type R. <laughs> Pretty interesting uh, sound pump-in choice here for Honda. And what else? Oh yeah, hilariously too, there are paddle shifters for this, which is very good again on Honda. So actually I wanna try that now, but let's put you back to eco mode for now. As I explained like with the VX all-wheel drive tur turbo, well generally all the CRVs, they are pretty much the same here like for your air conditioning vents. It's, I would say it's all good. So here too, all the quality, fit and finish, even the seats here now, you have the red stitching here now as I explained in my walk around review. It is pretty much what, very good. Yet the leather guard it's a little bit harder than usual. I mean it's still comfortable nevertheless. And then surprisingly to having this little bit stiffer suspension now, was well, same case with the all-wheel drive turbo. I mean, look at that, the ride is so pliant and yet I gotta say it's just as comfortable as with the all-wheel drive despite having the bigger uh, battery pack. So fuel economy, not to my surprise, okay I will make an admission, when I test drove the all-wheel drive version, I was actually doing around four and a half to five kilometers per liter around in Moa. I thought that was a mistake but actually it was it's kind of true because as I said it's kind of heavy there's no electric motor assist whatsoever it's just the engine doing its own thing right now with this HEV this is where it excels now this one is been averaging uh, around here in Makati 9.1 kilometers per liter you can do better numbers of course this is just a very short test there will be more snippets it's still traffic Apple CarPlay and the auto yeah the infotainment here is exactly the same like with the rest of the uh, CRVs and then put you back now to sport mode and remember I was a little bit heavy footed here in Makati and yeah it was still doing 9.1 kilometers per liter pretty impressive I mean it's going down now around 8 but that's still pretty decent for uh, what this is and let's turn now manual mode remember there's a B button here for your brake regen system uh, I have not tried that yet okay here we go and then Whoa! Wow! Right, okay. Uh, correction, this is not actually manual mode. I can see in the dashboard here, it's actually for brake regen. So I thought this was still manual mode. Anyway, so that's what the VX has. It has the manual mode, even though that was a CVD. Same with this one. So, okay, let's put you back now to eco mode. So, yeah, what else to talk about with this CRV HEV? I could consider one in the future. I mean, yes, you know, all know me by now. I'm very spoiled with performance. However, though, even though this is actually a pretty peppy car, this is still very, very fuel efficient. Speaking of, there's a competitor right in front of me. I would hands down take this over its competition because it's got the looks, it's got the power. I mean, wow. <laughs> And yeah, it's a Honda. I mean, Hondas are really great driver's cars. They never forgot that philosophy. That's what I can commend Honda for. So yeah, that concludes my quick test day review of this Honda RS HEV. So I'd like to thank everyone here again at Honda Cars Philippines at their Honda Fest today at Glorieta Makati and to Sir Patrino. To Sir Jello for assisting me here in this test day. So, hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you hopefully with more Honda reviews coming right up. Well, actually, I have a special car coming up here at the Honda Fest. I've always actually wanted to tour one of those. Bye-bye.